This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off free shipping and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. Hey, what about our Comic Capers podcast? What about it? What about it? Worlds are living, worlds are dying. Because we're back for the third and final part of Crisis on Infinite Earth. I am Phil. Joining me, as always, in the land of restored electricity is... Hey y'all, it's Lil Hellfire. And sorry I got so emotional last time. Just every time it gets me and I just couldn't let you guys see me be a human. I just couldn't do it. Well, baby. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we're here to talk the third part, which is uh, issues 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. This is something Charlie Esser wouldn't uh, like. Ambush Bug is only on the poster. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just serious stuff. We, you know, we don't have room for that. <sighs> like I said, it's not something Charlie Esser would like. But, um, yeah, most of my favorite people are here, so... Not you, Guy Gardner. Sit down. <laughs> exactly. Don't so we get both. We get both Green Arrows of Earth One and Two, so that was fun. Yes. Uh, we got Molly Main, also better known as Harley Quinn. Not that Harley Quinn. Calm down. I know there was no Harley Quinn yet. <laughs> yet it was on its way. Yeah, it wasn't even the. This was before even the anime. Was- right. Crank wasn't even around from freaking the original Flash nope. TV series. So. Joker was a swinging bachelor. <laughs> uh, we also get a little Justice League Detroit. Mm-hmm. So that was fun. But of course, like, like I said, you know, I'm all about that JSA. Oh, we even got Metal Men in this issue. This issue was like... Oh, but I mean, Nine, I mean, what do you think of that cover? The Just the villains? I love oh, yeah. it, of awesome. course. The Perez drawing all those villains. Oh yeah, it it, it definitely is dated, but I still. Love oh it. yeah, I mean it's it's Perez. Perez is always awesome. True, true. But yeah, issue nine opens with the Guardians giving a ring to Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner and Oa paging Guy Gardner. <laughs> They're making a last ditch effort. And I'm just like, yeah, Guy, Guy Gardner is your last ditch effort. Uh-huh. But like, we're gonna give you your ring back. I just love how they're just like, you know, they'd rather give it to that loose cannon instead of bringing Hal Jordan back. He he's currently busy being my favorite thing ever, and I was so sad. Bill Harrison, House Boy, when... what? Yes. <laughs> Star Sapphire. Uh-huh. Not to be confused with Starfire. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I guess I'll quit. So they're like, he's, he's not going to come back, and we're not going to beg him. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Lex Luthor's doing his thing. And... <laughs> Rubbing his leg all over yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah Lex and Brainiac, like. Luther. That's all that I can say. Yeah, Lex and uh, Brainiac are, um, they uh, assemble all the villains, and <laughs> who who gets uppity? <laughs> Lex of Earth 2. He's like, why is he in charge? I should be in charge. Uh, it's the Charlie of Earth 2. Um, by the way, I was just kind of chuckling because this is like 1985 and they dubbed the uh, the Nexus where the Earths met as the warp zone. I'm like, what are we playing? Mario Brothers here? <laughs> down that, down that dream pipe. <laughs> Seriously. I was just like, oh, you tried it. <laughs> So and it's it's like it's really cool because we're getting like creatures and energy and entities from like everywhere, mm-hmm. and I love the dinosaur stomping through New York. Oh, you missed you missed uh, Starfire and Nightwing meeting up with uh, Starfire's uh, arranged marriage husband. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. Oh, I thought you skipped over it. <laughs> no, it's just, just stuff. You know, I'm not necessarily going in order. You don't really. Need everybody to. wants that. Just... Everybody wants that Starfire. <laughs> Oh, have you seen her, sir? <laughs> Even more. But you know what? What? You know, when I thought about it, I was like, we really didn't need to do 
a Harley when there were other female villains, the Joker could have <laughs> like the Poison Ivy team up there. I was just thinking, and I was like, oh, and then they did the thing with Poison Ivy and Harley, and I'm just mm-hmm. like, um, <laughs> it's like it's like the Joker didn't have a, a woman, but he had Joker, but there was a Joker's daughter. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how that's that not works. How it works. But... <laughs> how any of this works? But yeah, just all the stuff like what is that? New York, uh, yeah, dinosaurs and volcanoes and futuristic cities. Ugh, damn Simon! By the way, and I'm just like, oh, it had to be you. <laughs> but he blasts Brainiac, so I was like, eh, you better not touch my legs. Then we're gonna have Villains problems. just like zapping each other because it wasn't like Brainiac just like disintegrated Lex from Earth too. Yeah, it was just like it is all out chaos. Well, it's like I mean, yeah, spoilers. Eventually, we're gonna get to just like one one universe. So it's like yeah, it's a couple uh, doubles. We can just and the, like um, I was just like the Justice League is fighting the Brotherhood of what? Oh, evil. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can't accuse more false advertising. Yeah, true, true. But yeah, the villains take down. What is that? Um. Oh, don't we see the real doc? Uh, I mean, the first Doctor Light in the Fearsome Five. I think like, so, yeah. Oh no. Uh, oh wait, no, he was the only one that wasn't in the Fearsome Five from the Fearsome Five that didn't show up in this issue, obviously for obvious reasons. Yeah, I was gonna say, does he show up back up again? I know he was like in those first couple issues, but. Yeah, I don't know. I think, they, I think they downplayed him for a couple of years, you know, while they brought in the new Doctor Light, but... Yeah. Um, and then it's like, oh, P- by the way, uh, Gambler takes his own life because he lost all his money in a casino, and I'm just like, <laughs> Durr, that, that, that's kind of what happens as a person who's lived in Vegas, and it's kind of what happens. But yeah, we got a lot of crossovers, because like you said, the whole Starfire thing it says, as shown in New Teen Titans 14, then you see Donna Troy and Firehawk flying off into uh, Firestorm 42. Yeah. So yeah, like you- I definitely would, uh, as companion pieces, I would definitely say you should read uh, New Ti- Titans 13 and 14. Mm-hmm. And also, uh, Swamp Thing number 6. <sighs> and some of those Green Lantern ones weren't bad. I mean, it's extra John Stewart. Yeah, true. Omega Man 31. And what else? Like we said, there's a fire, so at least one or two Firestorm issues. Yeah, it's 41 and 42. Yeah, and then there's some Superman. I know last time we. Superman is. Um, four, four shoot, shoot, it is. Yeah, it's 413. And 414. Or no, it's just 414, really. But if you didn't read 413. Well, yeah, I mean, Lex escapes from 413 right into the pages of Crisis, so. Yeah, and Justice League of America Annual number three mm-hmm. led in this one too, so yeah. A lot of supplemental reading actually. It's not like some of these more modern crossovers where it's just in there to be in there. Then, Look at this new War of Realms that over at Marvel. But even with Shots are fired. On page eight of issue nine, uh what's the name of those kids? Because there's even like the little the picture of them, uh <laughs> Those crazy. I kids. forget, but yeah, you know that that is basically it's everybody in DC. Yeah. Oh, did we get Mirror Master for a brief second? Mm, he might have been in uh, one of those villainous groups. The Sam Scudder version. Um, was it Scudder, Scudder. still, or uh, was it the? Oh, was that the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. It's so funny. That's like. <laughs> how so many of like Barry Allen villains either like retired or like went went good for a while after his uh death. I'm gonna say that was the longest comic book death ever. I think so. I mean if you count I, pretty much my whole life. Yeah, oh yeah, it was twenty some years. I was gonna say the only ones that are longer are the people who don't come back, you know, like your Uncle Ben's and stuff. Uncle Ben. Yeah. He's been Mephisto this whole time. It doesn't count. Well, Aunt May killed him as a sacrifice, and she's really Mephisto. Somebody's Mephisto in that family. I don't. Know, I can't figure. Oh, that's out. a be a great. What if Aunt May sacrifices Uncle Ben to become Ghost Rider or something? Oh. But we're talking DC here, Lilith. Keep your Marvel out of it. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna solve this mystery one way or another. Um, let's. So Warzone, that was just kind of like villains got a villain. Oh yeah, villains trying to take over. <laughs> villains trying to take over when Earths are left, and then uh. It's like, bro, don't you think it's more pressing than to have it a, a penis measuring contest? Penis is a medical term. I looked it up. Well, you know, they're villains. They're especially like Silver Age villains. Aren't. But it's about self preservation, not consolidation of power at this point. That's the only thing I was just like, eh. Well, I think Lex is like, I can handle everything, but I surround myself with an army, you know, to make things easier. Yeah. <laughs> then Lady Quark hanging out with Diana Prince. <laughs> Uh, strange, strange times makes for strange bedfellows. Hashtag who has my fanfic. Oh my. And then, well, Alexander Luther and Pariah are talking to the United Nations. What is that, Earth One? Brainiac just, like, appears, has his giant head and says, yeah, well, yeah, we're taking over everything. Uh, just, uh, and Lex, <laughs> we have the Earths. Just surrender. Or or die. You have oh, he gives him fifteen minutes to decide. I will be charging you one million dollars. And let's just say Super Earth One Superman isn't in the mood for right now, Lex, so So true, so true. And we get the creeper. Yeah. And I don't think we've seen him since. <laughs> no, he shows up every so often in the weird places, but I mean no, nope. I'm pretty sure we never saw him again. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. How drunk are you? I'm not drunk. It's the middle of the damn week, Philip. Thursday night. I'm sure. oh, my God, yes, Thursday night. I'm sure you're like close enough. Uh, not working 14 hours on Ooh. night. Yeah. Yeah. But then, uh, what is this? Earth? Is this Earth 2? Yeah. Earth two Superman and Power Girl are trying to get through the the barrier and Alan Scott, Jade, Starman. Starman. What? Starman, not to be confused with Star Girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and his cosmic rod. Quantum sparkly tentacles. <laughs> Just about. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Quake Master is in issue 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but here's the scene everyone's been waiting for, because uh, while the two Earths are talking to each other, which that must be damn good walkie-talkies, um, they, they go to Blue Valley, Nebraska. Mm, mm, mm. Who lives there? Mm. Jake Garrick goes to see uh, Lil's favorite redhead. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite redheads. I love them all equally. <laughs> Wally West. Hmm. He's coming out of retirement. Eh? Hmm. He was a little young for retirement anyway. Well, his powers have been off, you know. Yeah. Which we'll discover years later. And uh, one of the storylines we'll cover in the upcoming uh, in a month or two. Uh, what about psychosomatic? So. I just have to say, leave Wally like what's the law? Leave the law. You've done enough, you monsters. You've done enough. And then they modify the cosmic treadmill so it like <laughs> to, yeah. to attach all these platforms. So because Jay and Wally are just gonna run like an army of superheroes. No, I want to see that in the Flash TV show. We got the cosmic treadmill like once. Mm -hmm. It's basically so, just for training. Yeah. Which is like, bro, that's, that's no. That'd be awesome. They just like drop an army of Supermans. I think for the crossover, uh, uh, you know, I think they should bring the Cosmic Treadmill back and have Jay Him and Jay Dirk doing that. I think that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, we got five hours to kill, buddy. Five freaking hours, okay? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so the. Uh, Wally and Jay start taking the superheroes to the different Earths, and we see Luther and Brainiac basically like, oh, we might lose 60% of our army, but who cares as long as we roll twirl mustache now. He'd uh, run his fingers through his lovely red locks if he could. Yeah. <laughs> He's, right, and all he can do now is just like uh, run him through his eyebrows. 
That's all I hear is laugh. Look. Eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. <laughs> Hashtag. Artificial creations. <laughs> but yeah, we see the superheroes get the drop on Riddler and uh, Trickster. So many. We see. Oh. Let's get some Doom Patrol. <laughs> Negative Woman. Uh, and we get Camo. Oh no, Camo kills uh, who's that Tula? And which Earth was that? Uh oh, we may have lost Lilith Hellfire. That's okay. Yeah, it's Earth Four where we see uh, yeah, it's Beast Boy. Well, we'll change things as he's going by now. Takes out Riddler and Trickster, and then we see uh, Cole and Tempest. Uh, you know, Tempest part of a new Doom Patrol, new for the time. We see Cyborg taking out. I think that's Gorilla Grodd. Uh, we see Speedy. Like I said, we see some. Uh, who's that Red Star from Titans? Uh, a negative woman, not negative man. And we also see Chemo take out, trying to take out Aqualad, but he takes out Tula by like, I guess, making the water all polluted or something. Uh, let's see. Next, we go to Earth S, which is uh, the Earth, uh, let's say, Shazam, you know, who used to be known as Captain Marvel at this point comes from. Uh, let's see, Black Canary and Earth One Green Arrow taking out, uh, is that Punch and Joel? Uh, and let's see. Got Superman taking out Starro. And, oh, Sinestro first. Elongated man. Man, we got people all over the place. Uh, hopefully we should have Lilith back soon. Uh, and then we got Commander Steel. And what was that Plasmus? Yes, Plasmus. Uh, oh, look, we got a scene with Quake. So maybe we'll see it. He kind of shakes uh, Plasmus into the ground. So maybe we'll get that scene in the uh, CW crossover. And then we got, oh, Steel's uh, fighting who's at Warp, I believe. Yes, yeah, so we have Warp Zone and Warp in this uh, issue. So uh, in the scorecard to keep him straight. And... Love Hellfire had some technical difficulties. She'll be back soon. Uh, yeah, we get a big free for all. Oh, Eclipse is taking down Wonder Woman. We see Icicle and Captain Cold. It looks like Aqu freezing Aquaman in the water. Uh, like I was talking to Lilith about, uh, we see some of Flash's rogues, which, um, guess what is it? After this, after Crisis, a lot of them go straight or retire because, you know. A lot of them don't face Wally West, or at least until later. <gasps> that spoiled the ending. Uh, then we go to Earth X, home of the uh, Freedom Fighters. We see Poison Ivy, the Joker, uh, the Floronic Man. Uh, forget who's this guy in the white costume. Uh, they've taken down the uh, Freedom Fighters, like we said. Uh, Joker's taunting Phantom Girl. Or is it Phantom Lady? Uh oh, we even got Mr. Mind. For those of you who don't know, that's the little worm guy from uh you might have seen all of them at the end credits of Shazam. Uh let's see Earth 2 Superman and Katana, the new Wildcat. He's taking down villains. Dr. Phosphorus takes out uh looks like he's he's trying to take out Earth 2 Hawkman. Uh we got just battle, battle, battle. That's a a lot of this issue is just like big fight scenes and yeah, you know, heroes and villains battling on multiple Earths before we get a consolidation of stuff at the toward the end of the series. Uh, but then the end of this issue, Brainiac and Luther are talking and they're saying, "Hey, you know, no matter who, no matter what side wins, no matter how many of our allies get killed, two of us will kill Superman." Um, and then, mm, oh, she's back. Yeah. Okay, I was just doing a play-by-play -play of, like, uh, the rest of that issue, but then I, we're at the end, as, uh, you know, Luther and Brainiac are plotting. <laughs> like you said before, Brainiac gets, uh, destroyed by Simon. Yeah. 
betrayed. Uh, villain's got a villain. There ain't no trust in villainy. And then, I mean, look at that. Just going nuts here. Next issue is just like the final fate of the multiverse. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. Then you this look, is crazy. And then look at that cover for issue 10. The anti-monitor Spectre face and all. Um, yeah. Good old Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. 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 So yes, the, the issue 10, Death at the Dawn of Time. <laughs> almost, almost. It's, and this issue is interesting because it's like, you know, like what, two thirds of the, the top two thirds of the, each page is taken up by story and then the bottom is basically like what the monitors, uh, like Lila's go, Lila going through the monitors records and stuff. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of those Twix two-page bottom ads. <laughs> Hashtag still better. Never forget, never forgive. Yeah, but these are at least somewhat entertaining. Uh, if you say so. I'm kidding. Of course it is. Yeah. So it looks like Simon has the upper hand on uh, Uthor, but then uh, ooh, someone like just basically blasts that brain off his head. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Brainiac has made a new body for himself. As you do. Mm-hmm. Can't be a villain if you don't have a few body, body, extra bodies laying around. I think you learned that from Lex, honestly. Well, I think he said, you know, he's part of the ship. Ship? Uh, Tony, Tony Davis in our chat room said he plays DC Legends on his phone. I read where they're going to be bringing in some of the character characters of the upcoming crossover into the game. Noise. Oh, play some Brandon Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Kingdom Come Superman, of course. Of course. Of course. Play, oh, play some JWS. Oh, dude, I would freaking love that. <laughs> but I've been too tempted to make him a Linda Carter make out. Oh, jeez. You and your Sims. <laughs> I know, right? You got to get Sims off the brain. But anyway, yeah. <gasps> Do they have any kind of like superhero Sim games like that? Um, I have superhero skins, uh, no. and, like custom content. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. sure you do. I've got Iron Man. I've got Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Captain America. I think I even have Fat Thor. I think. <laughs> oh Lord! Don't judge me. <laughs> anyway. Oh well, man, we could really make uh action figures uh, yes uh, so yeah like I said we're, uh, we see Kemo again after he's killed Tula such a um, messed up name by the way what Kemo <laughs> I always read it as Kemo <laughs> uh, true um, well maybe yeah it's basically just a big bag of Kemo you know toxic sludge yeah yeah He's taken out by negative woman. Negative woman? How rude. <laughs> yeah, what are you trying to say? <laughs> oh, you can get custom DC and Marvel skins on Second Life? Oh, God. I haven't played Second Life in, like, literally 15 years. <laughs> literally 15 years. I remember the day I deleted my account <laughs> so vividly. <laughs> oh, look. We even get Black Adam. Yeah, he's he was doing his thing. Thanks. Like honestly, honestly, I don't even know what DC is doing. Like I'm just so upset, I'm so upset that we're getting a TV version crossover of Infinite Crisis. I'm just <sighs> hey, you gotta build up a movie. You gotta build up a good movie universe before you can uh, do Crisis over there. We well, were gonna have a good one, and then things happened. Hashtag still better. I'm gonna move on. Anyway. Yeah. So uh full turn back at him in the in the uh crystal and robot robot man's about to punch robot him. Robot man, how original. <laughs> hey, hey, it's it's silver age. A lot of them don't have you know, the names aren't that subtle. I know. Superman. And that original dove. No. Ugh. The worst. Uh -huh. How 
too. Hawk is the worst too. They're equally the worst. Mm hmm. My Dr. Shavana again. Uh, just. <laughs> or as Charlie Esser calls him, Dr. Sylvania. <laughs> I'm just like the, 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 the TV brand? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, then we get some John Jones. Yeah, he felt like he got nerfed, though. <laughs> and uh, who's that? Platinum of the Metal Men. Metal Men. And then he comes Adam to save the day by cutting off Billy Bats and gags we can say, Shazam! <laughs> rude. Just rude. Everybody's thunder is getting stolen in this story. That's all that I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And Batman and Robin went to Earth X. Nazis? <laughs> Batman punching? No, Batman's punching not Calendar Man. Damn it, it's always you, Calendar Man. <laughs> Just kidding, it's never you. Go sit down, Calendar Man. <laughs> Let's Kite Man busy. Dude, I swear to God, if we don't get Calendar Man and Kite Man and freaking Batwoman, mm -hmm. I don't even know what we're doing. And I'm so pissed, by the way, that it's not her twin. But I'm going to let it go. What? Let's see how it plays out on the TV show. What? Yeah, her villain. Alice isn't her twin? Not in the, not in the TV show. I was afraid they're of that. They're supposed yeah. to be identical twins. So if they're twins, okay, whatever. But they're supposed to be identical you know, I was going to say, I could live with them not being identical twins. But it's like... It's like, don't even hire another... I mean, granted, <laughs> it is Ruby Rose. <laughs> so, you know, maybe we're maybe I should be thankful that it's not the uh, identical twin situation. <laughs> and, anyway, and then we see Speedy and a and, uh, bunch of people take out the Shaggy Man. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, I think that sums it up about this issue. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, last issue and this issue, it's basically it's just like big battles and stuff and, you know, fight, fight, fight. Give you what you came for, punch them ups, yeah. I'm not talking about your dating life. Uh, <laughs> until the specter until the specter appears over all the earth and see, I'll stop. Yeah. You must stop this. The Anton Monitor still lives. Everyone has to team up. Yeah. Yeah. About damn time. I've been waiting on this pep talk. <laughs> So they never the obvious pep talk. Yes, so then all the heroes and villains gather at Death Death Valley of Earth One. Because Earth One's the only one that matters. <laughs> no. well. Oh, Earth One lives matter more. I'm sorry. This is just the way it is. Well, wait a couple minutes. You'll, yeah. <laughs> Earth Two Superman saying goodbye to Earth Two Lois. <gasps> Cries and fangirl. <laughs> And then we get Superboy from Earth Prime. Boo! Well, he's not a douche yet. Boo! He's the reason! What? He's the reason for all this trash. He's the reason all for, these for, for Infinite, what, Infinite Crisis and stuff. <gasps> Remember, he was the original reason Jason Todd came back. Exactly. He punched that wall like a boss. Like a petulant little freaking brat. Please don't let John turn out like that. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, they retconned it to be that way anyway, but I remember it's like when DC was like, no, they didn't throw Jason Todd in a Lazarus pit. No, it's a way better reason. Superboy Prime punched a wall. <sighs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Moving on. We're just catching all the sore spots today. It's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Shut up. I'm sorry, yes, I do have Superboy Prime's uh, theme song. Here we go. Oh, it would have been even better if you had the um the mom and kind one. You lay, you lay, you lay. I miss Bob Barker. But Drew Carey does a lovely job on the prices, right? That's right. Uh so then Uncle Sam's giving everyone a pep talk. Ugh. Because reasons. You know, I'm just saying, Jim Corrigan can, you know, take a long walk off a short pier when it comes to being the specter. You know, somebody did it better. 
Surprisingly. <laughs> like, I don't even like it better. That's all I'm saying. Jordan. <laughs> really gonna have to do zero hours. <laughs> I, to- I offered. Hey. I know, I know. I, I'm not ready for that just yet. She has to wait for till 2020, people. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should do it after Earl's um, finale. Okay. So, whenever that happens. I was gonna say, maybe we'll just take a month and do all the crazy. Well, however long it takes, all the crises. <laughs> No, I can't do them back to back. I'll be too sad. <laughs> Especially when we do the new fifty two stuff. Be angry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh that oh that's right. We'll have to do Flashpoint too. It'll be convergence all over again, Philip. You don't want that. Oh, do you? oh should we do convergence in one episode too? Oh, we have to literally do convergence because only one good thing came out of convergence. Mm-hmm. Sorry, the one yeah. good thing came out of convergence is the thing that came out of Lois. <laughs> Are we allowed to say that? Yes, yes, we're allowed to say that. <laughs> it's a medical term. It's a medical thing. It came out of the hoo ha. It's a medical term. Long term. Fight me, nerds. It's a um, it's a pre-existing condition that's not covered by uh, Obamacare. It's fine. It's fine. We're moving on. Uh, birth? <laughs> yeah. No. Seriously. So yeah. So. Yeah. So basically, the heroes with all the uh, between the metal men and then all, all the people with electric powers and magnetic powers uh, open a portal. Superman flies Alexander Luther through, and then Wally and Jay basically run through, bring everyone else through. Oh, here's the thing. I'm, I'm trying to remember if they address this later, but like Brainiac like shuts himself down, basically trying to preserve himself. I think what. <laughs> I'm always like, wouldn't it have been cool if, like, Brainiac, you know, like, Galactus had survived the previous universe, and he was, like, the only thing to survive into the new DC universe? Oh, nice. But, they're, you know, they weren't thinking about that. He would have been, you know, he would have been all cocky. He'd be like, you're not as powerful as the Superman I remember. <laughs> Seriously. That's Ambush Bug's job, though. Or just, like, or just like Lex, why are you running, trying to run a company? You're so much more than this. Come on. <laughs> He's got to evolve. Times change. Newspapers fall out of favor, you know? I know. Get yourself a blog or a newsletter. Uh, and then we see Aqualad get the news. Tula has died. <gasps> Speaking of which, hold on. No. I know we're going to put a pin in it because I definitely want to talk about it hmm. for capes. But yeah, Aqualad's got a boyfriend. Times are changing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't watched that episode yet. Yeah. And it's not. <laughs> okay, moving on. Listen to Capes this Friday, right here on Get Vocal. <laughs> I'll make sure I watch it. Yeah, I haven't watched it. the new episode yet. I will. Charlie will be like, "What? Which? Which one? What?" <laughs> uh, then we like, see Charlie. It's fine. <laughs> then we see the heroes going to the dawn of time because Superman's thinking, "I even I have tried to fly to the dawn of time and failed." <laughs> Uh, Cause you ain't got the speed force. Like I know you think you're hot, you're a hot shot Superman, but there's certain things you can't do. Like you're susceptible to magic, so just. So, I know Wade hadn't created the speed force yet, but do you think they could like kind of like I don't know install? That was definitely something protecting the speedsters, connecting them. I mean, do you think it's just that you know they in story they hadn't ex- found, discovered it yet, or could they be like, oh yeah, what the, the speed force really didn't exist until the universe got rebooted, kind of sorta. Yeah. You know now. now I, I think all the speedsters actually tapped into something a little different, like how they do, like you know Johnny Quick has his formula, Jay Garrick has the hard water stuff, and you know like everybody had a different kind of origin, but it was still kind of like this connected thread with the Flash family. Yes, Max Mercury. I think they wanted to like actually like pin that down mm-hmm. and like really explain it and I think I think it's really cool I, I like the speed force oh yeah but yeah everyone better than the emotional lantern core just, just gonna say it oh yeah <laughs> but then it, uh, everyone gathers at the dawn of time to battle the anti-monitor <sighs> I wonder if we're gonna get this scene on TV <laughs> uh don't hold your breath <gasps> I wonder if they're gonna I mean, we know, with, you know, instead of Barry, it's probably going to be Oliver sacrificing himself. I wonder if they're going to, like, do a mix and match. I wonder if they're going to uh, take that Oliver scene from the end of Zero Hour. 
Oh, I wouldn't like, like I said, I wouldn't count on it because like nobody's like a real big like comic, comic book person. Yeah, but I, I wonder and, if we'll get something similar though. I doubt it, but it'd be cool if we did. Mm-hmm. But, like, like you know, Ooh. I'm I'm hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. So that would be awesome because it's like yeah, in zero hour. Yes, I mean spoilers. All Oliver takes has to take down Hal Jordan, who's now Parallax, but. I wonder if that's the whole thing about the ten episodes of Arrow is like Oliver traveling around with the monitor and they kind of like start to form a friendship and then the monitor is revealed to be the anti monitor and Oliver has to take him down. I mean it's classic Oliver, right? He's always friends with the villain. Yeah. Hello. Mm-hmm. Hello, Megan. <laughs> that is <an> Oliver's jam. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna either bone you or we're gonna be best friends. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. What happens in Russia stays in Russia. Or it comes back 18 years later. Yes, I know. Or it just hacks your Facebook. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, but meanwhile, the mo- the anti monitors just uh, monologuing about how he was he only he could break out of his prison, and it wasn't Pariah who freed him. So letting Pariah off the hook. <laughs> And then we see. Who cares about Pariah? Nobody. Why is a Pariah? <laughs> and then we see the people, or the heroes who have enough powers, attacking the Anti Monitor. Um. Yeah, we still got a little bit to go, so don't hold your breath, kiddos. <laughs> no, I know. But then we see an army of villains like traveling back to the dawn of time, and basically, uh, who the hell asked you here? Basically, I know. <laughs> But they get taken down by the Owens. Oh, they're trying to stop Krona from creating the multiverse. <laughs> See, crisis number seven. <laughs> uh, and then everyone's still trying to beat the anti monitor. But it should be my hand that Krona sees. <laughs> Frankel. Because the anti monitors are like, okay, there will be one in the universe, the antimatter universe, my universe. What a fluster crack. But then we get the Spectre. And he's, he's had enough of you guys' shenanigans, okay? He wants to go home and just take a nap. He's cranky. We get uh, it's the Spectre in his full power and his little cape and uh, nut smugglers. Is this just me or does like. It kind of gives me Doctor Doom vibes. Like, is it just me? What Spectre? Like, if Doctor Doom and freaking um, if- Doctor Strange had a baby, like co- a costume baby, that's what it would be. I'm- it would be the Spectre's costume. I mean, he basically looks like he's just running around in a cape and underwear. Yeah, which pretty much is. So, yeah. <laughs> the Captain Underpants attacks uh the Anti Monitor uh. <laughs> We see, again, we see the mystics like all combining their powers. <laughs> Although I don't, I mean, unless he's off camera, I don't see Constantine there. We well, yeah, are well, yeah. That that came, yeah. Yeah, this is the force. Scroll way down. Find new chapter two. We yeah. talked about. Get some Doctor Fate, some Zatanna, Phantom Stranger. You know what? It was never meant for Dr. Fate to be Dr. Fate because his first name's Nelson. Like, that's too cool of a power for a dude named Nelson. <laughs> Kent Nelson. Just saying. Yeah. Sorry, your name's Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they see the villains have failed and Corona is opening his uh, view screen, his uh, the doorway in the past. And the Atomonitor's like, yes, yes, look at me. Then the Spectre screams and we just see everything crack and the universe looks, just looks like it breaks like a pane of glass or something. Almost like, you know, vibe that it unleashed his full power. Oh yeah, I mean the what was it? it was either nine or ten. Yeah, there was this there was a panel of vibe uh like quaking down plasmas. Yeah. But then so yeah, so everything breaks and it's just like what? But then we get to issue eleven. Exactly. Well, a lot going on on that cover. And then we get to think about how, in the beginning, there was a multiversal infitude. <laughs> but now, no. all of a sudden, now, I guess it's one universe. As we get to issue 11, Aftershock. As Earth 2 Superman wakes up in uh, Earth 1 Superman's apartment. 
Creepy. And then puts on his clothes, so. Extra mm-hmm. creepy. And then he said, because he, on his earth, I guess he's the uh, editor of the Daily Star, so he walks in and just thinks that's his office, but he actually sits down in Perry White's office. Uh-oh. And then Earth One Clark shows up and's like, "Oh, hey Perry, have I introduced you to my uncle Clark, who I'm named after, and look exactly alike?" James Bond Jr. No. <laughs> and we both look exactly like Superman. Anyway, it's the shot dog line. But yeah, so uh, they go up to the roof and both change. And Earth One, Earth One says, oh, "I'll fly with you to the warp zone." Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's going to be a problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's in New York, so... uh Oh, but then, uh because they're like, oh, you know, what happened? And then it's Superman say he will... Or Earth 1 Superman say he woke up at the Daily Planet, but... uh Oh, in his office, yeah. Uh, and no, it seems like nobody, like, the normal people on Earth, no one remembers the strange weather Earth's been suffering. They, But, uh... He's the, it's all yeah, he it finds a reference. It. Oh, it's a big glitch in the Matrix. And there's, and there's references to Supergirl dying, but that not like the details. <laughs> so they fly to New York, and then they see uh, what is it, Washington Square Park? But uh, everyone's like, "What? What? What? What portal? What? There's nothing here." <laughs> and no one seems to recognize Superman, Earth Two, Superman. Then they fly to the twin cities of Central and Keystone. And while Jay Jay Garrick remembers both of them, uh, his wife does not remember Earth 2 Superman, even though him and Lois were friends with them. And again, Lois' favorite ginger is there. Yay! So the two Supermen, uh, Jay and Wally, all get on the cosmic treadmill and try to run to Earth 2, but... There's you nothing can't. there. Just darkness. Yes, you should have had a will. <laughs> <laughs> so, Earth 2 Superman's like, no, no, there's nothing for me. It's all gone. So he's just going to see, he wants to try to stay in the void, and Superman's, Earth 1 Superman's like, no. Jay, get us home. <laughs> I love all the modifications they made to the Cosmic Treadmill last at, at last issue. But when they get back, the cosmic treadmill's destroyed, and like <laughs> Wally's like, "Oh yes, it's it's been it's destroyed beyond repair." I, exactly, and it's like, meanwhile, in a couple years, isn't there like a working model in the Flash Museum? They just didn't want to do anything yeah. for him. Okay, let's just face because the and, facts. The, and the treadmill has to survive so Eobard can come back in time with it. They just didn't feel like it, dude. It was their Sunday. Give them a break. They just wanted to be... (laughs) Okay, Philip, get off their face. I know. But then we see a bunch of heroes in space, including Adam Strange. And you got in space! (laughs) Animal Man, Adam Strange, Dolphin for some reason. Because it's Dolphin. They wanted some daisy interaction. (laughs) Oh, she's wearing a white shirt, too. Holy... But they find Brainiac all deactivated. Oh no! <laughs> but then back on Earth, uh, all the heroes assemble at Titan's Tower to figure out what's going on. And Harbinger start, starts to explain, but then they see like uh, Earth Two Huntress is uh, no one remembers her, or Earth Two Dick Grayson. Uh, Four things. So, you know, they should, you know what? Them and Superman never, too, they should start the Forgotten League. Yeah, yeah. So, the Harbinger's des- describing the new history of this unified Earth, and uh, the f- Uncle Sam and his freedom fighters are from, like, World War Two. even though they look, they look, you know, Phantom Girl has, like, a great uh, facelift, I guess. <laughs> And they never went to Earth 2. And then she says, only one Krypton exploded and send out one single rocket. Inside was young Kal-El. You know, the EL. <laughs> and there was only one Crime Alley and only one pair of Waynes that got killed. <laughs> so, yeah, Earth 2 Batman never existed. So how does his daughter exist? Only because you... Life 
and uh, finds a way. <laughs> like I said, no, you know, no matter how crazy it is, anyone who went through the dawn of time when it got rebooted survived and remembers everything for now. <laughs> yeah, people, well, this is crazy. So, Earth 2 Superman is not happy because he figures Lois is gone. Just wait. Just wait. Uh, then we see Dead Man and the Phantom Stranger checking out the Spectre who's like, I don't know, in a coma or something. He, he just needed a nap. I told y'all, let the man have his nap. Uh, and then we see, uh, what's this in Vegas? Uh, the Hulk? What? I What's wish. Going on? Uh, no, is it in uh, the Angle Man, one of Wonder Woman's old enemies? Because there's a detect and there's a detective convention in town. Oh, look, there's Bullock. Detective convention. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, Christopher Chance. For all you Arrow, uh, Arrowverse people. He had his own two shows. Okay, Human Target doesn't need Arrow's help. Okay. I know. So then we see uh, Dr. Fate, Etrigan, Amethyst. Oh, look, we even get Dr. Occult. Yeah. Like, oh, just. Uh, and it's as if things weren't bad enough, the Shadow Demons are back. Shadow Demons attack! And then Dr. Sh- Dr. Fate and uh, Amethyst. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Dr. Fate and Amethyst fall through some portal right in the Amethyst uh, issue 13. Wow. I can't believe that shit got a book. <laughs> and then Earth 1 Superman trying to calm down Earth 2 Superman. And then on Paradise Island, we see Earth 2 Wonder Woman is gone there. And, you know, nobody knows her. Just challenge her for the for the freaking crown, dude. Do what you gotta That'd do. That'd be weird. Like Earth Two Wonder Woman becomes like Earth One's mother or something. Don't don't give them ideas because I, I I smell a Wonder Woman reboot right around the corner. What Gail's gonna Gal's gonna be uh, the mother? No, no, no. I mean, uh, in the comic yeah. books. Oh yeah, they hit. There's always yeah, fresh. oh yeah, they got to seventy five. Yeah, they it's about time for a reboot. <laughs> New number one, doing the Marvel message. So then Batman and Robin show up with uh, Alexander Luther. Mom, oh, look how small Jason Todd looks here. And I don't care about him until I he know. becomes redhead, so. Well, well, look, that and, and, you know, this is before his even his uh, re, uh, rebooted origin, because right now it's just like a clone of Dick Grayson. You know, he was a circus acrobat and. But yeah, so, you know, Batman has to Batman in and say, you know, now there's only one Joker, one Penguin, one Riddler. And they went to talk to Lex in prison, and he doesn't even remember helping the heroes. He does. He just won't give them mm-hmm. satisfaction. I'm sorry. But then, oh, uh, look, back in Gorilla City, with see Solovar injured, and he doesn't even remember how he got injured. Eh, that happens to me every day. <laughs> yes, but this was like Universal Mind Wipe, not uh, Tequila. <laughs> Same difference. Same mm-hmm. difference. Then we see Red Skies again and the Anti Monitor's back because, you know, we got one issue. Red Skies, you <laughs> say? Must be May in Central no, City. No, we got another because we got one more issue because the double sized conclusion. <gasps> did you see the. Oh, uh, did you see the title of what it's called? False Advertising. What? Issue 12 is Final Crisis. <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I I always joke about that. <laughs> it's the final, the final, the final <laughs> for this decade crisis. Well, yeah, for this decade. <laughs> and then look at that that cover for issue twelve. Just everyone attacking the anti monitor. Uh, so issue twelve opens up uh, with the hero, the you know. Dolphin and her boys are still on Brainiac ship. Brainiac. You know what? I, I need, I need that, I need that maxi series. Dolphin and her boys. <laughs> Dolphin and the boys. Yeah, yeah. And where is this? They're taking. 
Uh, Black Manta, Ocean Master. <laughs> but they like take off with Brain. They take off with Brainiac, who's reactivated himself. And then we see everyone on Earth just staring up at the sky and listening to the anti monitor. And he says something about the Flash being dead because Wally's like, "The Flash is dead. You murdered the Flash." Good. Now I can stop being called Kid Flash. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and Harbinger shows up to get both Superman, and she comes for Doctor Light, the new Doctor Light, and old boss, same as the new new boss, same as the old boss. And then the Shadow Demons are just attacking Earth. And we see all the here, you know, all the heroes. Oh, look, there's Earth Two, uh, Green Arrow. <laughs> Not for long. Yeah. Oh, look, Blue Devil's back on Earth. Go <laughs> oh, back to Jersey. <gasps> How would you wish that on anyone? <laughs> it's okay. I know. He's not this, this is DC. Yeah, he ain't listening to this. Uh, yeah, we see heroes all over the Earth battling uh, shadow demons. Uh. And again, the mystics are trying to wake the specter. Um, Stop interrupting that man's uh, nap! Gee! Poor and thing. once again, they're trying to open a portal to the uh, antimatter universe to go face the anti monitor again. <laughs> I mean, this makes, uh-huh. what, like three times they've. <laughs> but, but it's third time the charm. So, yeah, the heroes decide who's going, but then all of a sudden, something at super speed runs, runs in after them. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Brainiac and crew have made it to Apocalypse. I mean, when you need a vacation. <laughs> ah, the fire pits. All right. So here we go. Back on Earth. We're going to start killing off some uh, irrelevant characters or, you know. People's books who aren't selling. You're gone. You're fired. Get out of here. We're either going to gonna replace them or we have too many of this, you know, for too many versions of this character because we see, uh, well, this here's where we get the death of the original Dove. And a demon basically just like explodes him. So that's what turned his brother into monarch. <laughs> uh, let me see. The mystics uh, doing their thing in Dr. Fate's tower. What? I don't know. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, was I keeping the nexus open? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. He's in there. And we, but then we see all the heroes in the antimatter universe. They discover Wally West has followed them in. What an idiot. But then he sees a vision of Barry because, hmm, remember? Barry saw a vision. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were busy off crying. Uh, yeah, he's, when Barry was uh, making his last run, he saw a vision of Wally. This is, this is what he was seeing, issue 12. And it all is connected. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's are connected. Not a- no free advertising. They're gonna pay us. We want our nickel. Who's super connectivity? Yeah, yeah. Charlie Esser and his uh, Charlie Esser and his uh, sexy uh, co-host over there on Super Connectivity. Wait, Moz is in his. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm Moz kidding. takes a shot. Anyway, yeah, Kid yeah. Flash takes off running, and the heroes follow him, and then he look. Hey, look. It's a psycho pirate. We haven't seen him in a while. With a good reason. Nobody basically likes pulling him. on Barry's empty costume, yelling, Flash, you lied to me. You can save me. To Wally. I'm not going to kill you, but I don't have to save mm-hmm. you. <laughs> and then Wally just decks him. And then Walt. Common sense. That's the first sign of common sense I've seen in. 12 issues. I love, you know, the costume isn't enough, but then uh, Wally sees, uh, oh, the ring, the flash ring is here too. Oh, Barry must be dead. Must be mm. dead. But that's when the anti monitor shows up. And it's on like Donkey Kong. Literally, he starts throwing barrels and, and, uh, and, and, for, and for different views of this battle, see issue one, uh, what is it, 150 of Wally West's flash run. Yeah. Oh, but then back in the ocean. Oh, Lori Lamaris gets taken out. Well, there's Superman secret well, dog. For now, Burn brings her back for like a year or so. Just needed uh, some healing water. Exactly. And then in Chicago, Chicago, 
we see uh, Earth 2 Green Arrow get taken out. Because, hey, we have too many of those. Nonsense! There's never enough Green Arrows! I wonder if funny if they like would have killed Earth 1 and kept Earth 2 and, like, kind of... You know, if that would have been today, they would have did that just so they could de-age them or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or, yes. Or, you know, they just give Lazarus pit, pit water. Or merge them like they did with Hawkman. All the Hawkmen. Yeah. Oh, the Hawk people's story. Just, ugh. I like them as warrior aliens. I don't like the other mm. thing. Uh, in the War Orleans, we see who's that? Ramen. <laughs> mm, now I'm hungry. That's Thanks what they call so. it. Prince Ramen. R A M A N. Oh, when we get the, uh, I believe it. We see the deaths uh, in, in one panel, in one small panel in Gotham City. We see the deaths of the Bug-Eyed Bandit and Clayface too. Clayface too. Matt Hay, yes. Yes. Yeah, Basil Carlo is still in jail and the other two are out there somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, <laughs> one is probably secretly Crocodile. That's all, uh, Killer Croc. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. And then, you know, they don't, I mean, you see Shadow Demons attacking them because Cole throws up a, uh, you know, a diamond dome, but basically it's the death of Cole, Cole, uh, Earth 2, Dick Grayson, and Huntress. Cole from Titans? Titans? I guess, yeah. She has those crystal powers or whatever. Oh, yeah. Although, although you never see a body, so. He could come back. All of them. <laughs> ben, you get right on that. Uh, So, yeah, we see... Oh, I guess the Mystics, that's the spell. They were getting rid of all the Shadow Demons. Finally, after they killed all the uh, all of our excess baggage. I was gonna say, all oh, the all oh, the dead weight. <laughs> oh, ouch! So everyone's trying to fight the uh, anti monitor in the antimatter universe until what's this? The Doctor Light powers up or something. She has. Uh, power. And anti monitor's just threatening everyone, and then I guess Negative Woman wraps herself around anti monitor. Mm, everyone's just blasting him. Oh, I think Doctor Light is just power. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just the phrasing. Oh, like, I know. My goodness, Philip. <laughs> Killing me! Dr. Light uses the power of the sun to blast the anti monitor, and it looks like he's, it looks like he's dead. Never, never dead on the first try. Any, any horror buff fan will tell you. And I guess the Earth was, uh, had been transported to the anti matter universe because the heroes opened a portal to send it back. Has reasons. And just, just. Reasons, and, the he, and the heroes are all flying back. Hey, mission accomplished. Oh, George Bush. Well, Ouch. Yeah, they were <laughs> successful because the monitor or the anti monitor gets back up. <laughs> oh, Philip's getting his buttons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He lets out an energy blast, and who does he who does it appear he kills Lilith? No, Earth One know. Wonder Woman? Come on, that was never gonna what? happen. I know, but he, he I mean, they explain what happened, but it looks like she dies. And yeah, yeah. I was just like, yeah, right. There would be riots in the street, homie. The St. Jason Todd dial in a number, and it's a oh, yeah. shot, I mean, by the okay? end of the day, they're like, just wait, just wait. She's, she'll be back. But, I mean, yeah, like, even even like eight yeah. year old, nine year old me was like, and no. Superman or Earth One is just PO'd. He's just like, you know, first first Supergirl, now Wonder Woman. He's like, no. He's like, I don't care if I die. I'm just taking out the the anti monitor. But then Superman, Earth Two Superman knocks out uh, Earth One Superman and uh, Lady Quark, and he's like, tells Superboy, take them back to you know, take them back to the negative in you know, the positive universe. I'll take out the anti monitor. Because he's got me on the right. So then Superboy's like, oh, he needs help. So he just pitches those two through the portal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and again, Dark Side's just watching. I mean, either way, either way, he's fine mm -hmm. with it. <laughs> and basically, Earth Two Superman and Superboy basically destroy Anti Monitor's body, but he's still like energy. Exists. And it's why he's at his weakest. Yo, no, Dark Side sends some power through Alexander Luther to hit the Anti Monitor. That's a nice little uh. Nice little piece. I blast him into the sun, but still the anti monitor comes out as like a fireball. 
Fireball! Until Earth 2 Superman punches him like a wall. Punch that fireball. Now that's what I came to see. <laughs> and basically, he falls, the anti monitor falls back into the sun, but he, it's imploding. And the shock waves are rippling outward, destroying everything it touches. So, Earth 2 Superman and Superboy think they're going to die, but that's when Alexander Luther is like, oh no, I have Lois. Come into my pocket. pocket well, universe. I mean, again, they wrote it here. I was like, oh, I guess, they, you know, kind of making the analogy to heaven or whatever, but. Yeah. Wait until the mid 2000s, people. Grim dark is everything. Yeah, right. So, yeah, last we see is them walking through a portal in the darkness, but then I guess, uh, Lila is making her own uh, logs now and explains Wonder Woman. Well, she kind of died, but she was reverted back to clay and put back on Paradise Island. It's okay. She just went to Tahiti. It wasn't a life clay. It wasn't a, a decoy life model. She just went to Tahiti. It's fine. And it's fine. Yeah. So basic. Yeah. Basically, start the whole thing again. At least Zeus still wasn't her yeah. father. Just... Hashtag still pissed. And Earth 2 Wonder Woman went to live on Olympus. Give her some Zeus D or what? Well, it said it. Her and her Earth-born husband, so just don't love that hu- that husband. Then we see... <laughs> what? Oh, is it? That's not Steve Trevor, though. Uh, I don't think. It just says her Earth-born husband. Yeah, Earth 2, I don't think she was... You're I can't remember Mexico. now. I don't know, but not Earth 2. Earth 2 is murky. Yeah. And then we see Jonah Hex was like sent into the future. What an odd choice. Yes. That was quick. You know who I would hire hmm. as Jonah Hex? Ryan Reynolds. There I said it. Fight me. He has great bone structure. <laughs> like you can't I can't keep playing all these creepy dudes with effed up faces. <laughs> Give me a complex. Yeah, then we see all the heroes mourning all the dead. And then we see the scene. The scene. Wally put Scene of the crime, more like it. <laughs> but just by coincidence, Wally West was struck by some antimatter blast from the anti-monitor, and it's basically fixed all of any physical problem he had. It jump-started his, uh... His, uh... Not his libido. What do I want to say? Metal- metabolism. <laughs> so, but meanwhile, he's... Again, they depowered him too because right now he can only he can only reach the speed of sound. Well, frick, I do that in my car every day. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, so basically, you only know, run a couple hundred miles an hour. Yeah. yeah. So he puts on the suit. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta cry before you can That's walk, right. homie. So yeah, and then, and then the last page we see the the only one to rem- you know basically remember the previous universe and ev- the remember everything is the psycho pirate. Who was secretly ambushed, bug the whole time? Charlie Hope. <laughs> there, I did it for I did it for Charlie. So yeah, and then after this this mini series, like people don't even remember, like, you know, he remember Superman's like, oh yeah, people don't remember how Supergirl died. Nobody even remembers there was a Supergirl uh, or a previous Wonder Woman because when the, you know Wonder Woman shows up again, they're like, who's that? Yeah, that was sad. In Legends. It's weird because it's like no one remembered Supergirl or the previous Wonder Woman, but it's like everyone remembered Barry died. You know why? He's got a penis. Whoa. They don't. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, but I get, yeah, but it's like they brought back Wonder Woman, so I guess they don't want to like I don't know, maybe cause confusion. They wanted to get rid of some of that weird stuff and about they, and Wonder they, Woman. And they didn't remember from... Supergirl because they brought in Matrix. I think the only reason they remembered Barry because like you know they were placed him with another person. It wasn't like a different version of Barry. They wanted the whole legacy thing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that is Crisis on Infinite Earths. There's tears. There's anger. There's laughter. There's surprises. There's twists. There's turns. There's backstabbing. There's something That's for right. everyone. It's tip- That's yellow. right. It's, a, it's fun and games. It's just like a typical little Hellfire date. No, no, there was not copious amounts of alcohol. That was the only thing missing. There's red skies, antimatter blast. <laughs> Must be main Central City. That's all I can say. 
But yeah, this was every time I reread it, I feel something mm-hmm. different. And I, I, I don't reread this a lot just because it makes me sad for what could have been had they not done this or if they actually had stuck to this and this would have been the only reboot. I always think, know? like, I don't know if it, if it should be like a, it, I don't think it work as an ongoing, but they should do like a series of mini series, like, you know, what if the Silver Age continuity had kept going? What if, you know, everything before New 52 had kept going? Yeah. I think they tried to answer that with I know, I know, but you know, it was only like two. <laughs> I didn't like those answers, damn it! Yeah, but in, in, in two, it's like they're all stuck on this like alien world. I mean, I want to see it, you know, mini series that's actually, you know, they're all on Earth and stuff. Secretly, they never disappeared. There, you see those stars up in the sky? That's all where right. they are. And in your heart. As long as you remember, they're never truly dead. All right. Except for you, girl. <laughs> All right, we get out of here. We're over now. Yes. Yeah. I mean, but it was double sized issue 12, so. All right. Got your money work. All right. So send us your thoughts on all that. Uh, next week, we'll do a uh, episode of Wade's World. Uh, it, it, a palette cleanser, if you oh. will. <laughs> yeah, one week of Wade's World. Uh, Deadpool 41. And then in September, or yeah, wait. Yeah, in September, we're going to get to. Uh, like I said, last night after when Lilith was crying herself to sleep, we're going to be doing uh, two Supergirl episodes and two Batwoman episodes. We'll rotate Supergirl, Batwoman, Supergirl, Batwoman. But so again, gotta get we'll, ready. Gotta get yeah, you ready. You want to know Bat- Can you what? Batwoman? Batwoman is actually the lead in for Supergirl on Hello? Sunday. That's so weird. Yeah, she's coming on at 8 and Supergirl will be on at 9, so I wonder if they're going to let Supergirl go a little darker, yeah. like they did with Arrow when he was in the 9 o'clock slot. That'd be cool. But, oh man, Sunday nights, I mean eventually Supergirl's going to be going up against Walking Dead. In mm-hmm. football. I guess they figure it's counter-programming, but even I watch football every now and then. I'm, going, I'm rooting for the Raiders because they're, they're moving to um, Las Vegas in 2020, so like, I'm, I've been a Raiders fan, but like I haven't mm-hmm. been like a Raiders ticket for like the last three years, so I'm getting back Raiders into it. So I don't know. Damn straight. <laughs> yeah. I guess shameless plugs. Ah, uh, shameless plugs. All right. So send us your thoughts. Uh, like we said, uh, if you have any Supergirl or Batwoman questions, send them to us. We'll address them uh, on the next couple episodes of Comic Capers. Email us, capes and lunatics at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash comic capers. At Comic Capers Pod and at CL Sidekicks on Twitter. Follow CL Sidekicks on Instagram. And check out Work in Progress. Not even Universal Catastrophe can take out Work in Progress. Capesandlunatics.org. Go, go subscribe to the Capes and Lunatics YouTube channel. And also subscribe to our weekly uh, newsletter, brand new, capesandlunatics.home.blog. Call the voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614-38CAPES. And again, the new home of uh, all the live content. You can watch us live and <laughs> watch this mess live at getvocalvokl.com. And- no, they're not paying us yet. <laughs> but we would gladly accept their money. Love Hellfire, where can people talk the end of the universe with you? Ugh. If you want to talk the end of the universe with me or drink copious amounts of alcohol as I live tweet, you can find me on the inter- on the interwebs via Twitter at Love Hellfire. And I'm on the gram just for my sidekick peeps and my capes and lunatics peeps at Love Hellfire 69. I got naked. I showed my dog. Batman, is that you? <laughs> I got naked. They repri- <laughs> they edited out my dog. All right. So thank you, everyone, for this oversized conclusion of Crisis. Uh, the final crisis. <laughs> <laughs> the not so final crisis. Like I said, join us next week for Wade's World, and then join us in September for a bunch of uh, your primer for Batwoman and Supergirl. We got you. We'll do your homework for you. We're nerds.